At Lactica, we talk about robust learning a lot. It's the kind of learning we care about here, so it's also the kind of learning we measure. In this video, I'll explain a bit about how we accomplish this. We think of robust knowledge as knowledge that provides the foundation for a lifetime of learning and development. So how do we know when knowledge is robust? Well, it's not by looking for right answers. Right answers tell us what students have committed to memory, but they don't tell us if their knowledge is well enough networked to be robust. In fact, the kind of knowledge we gain when we memorize without deep understanding doesn't stay with us for very long. We also can't tell how robust knowledge is by looking at the terminology people use or the memorized definitions they can repeat. People can learn words and their definitions without understanding their meaning. Just as facts and procedures that are memorized tend to get lost, so do the words we learn unless these words are connected to deep understanding. The evidence for robust learning lies in six features of people's work. How clear and precise it is, the quality of explanations, the ability to apply new knowledge, the accuracy of self-evaluations, and the complexity of arguments. In order to measure these things, we must observe people's written or oral arguments as well as their ability to apply what they've learned in real-world contexts. Clarity is evidence of robust learning because we cannot make clear statements unless we understand what we're talking about. Similarly, precision is evidence of robust learning because the better we understand what we're learning, the more nuanced and precise our explanations can become. The third source of evidence for robust learning is being able to explain our answers. We simply can't explain what we don't understand. The fourth source of evidence for robust learning is the ability to apply what we've learned. The quality of an application is a direct indicator of depth learning and is likely to precede the ability to explain. The fifth source of evidence for robust learning is a person's ability to self-evaluate accurately. Beginning with the first assessment we release in the coming year, all test takers will be required to participate in a self-evaluation prior to viewing their reports. They can then see how their self-evaluations line up with those of mentors, teachers, or peers. The sixth and final source of evidence for robust learning is complexity. The complexity of our knowledge networks increases over time if we continue to learn robustly. With this complexity comes an increased capacity to thrive in complex, changing, uncertain, or volatile conditions. You can learn more about our complexity scale by viewing our video on lectical levels. For now, Think of our ability to measure complexity as the rocket science behind lectical assessments. Lectical assessments target all six of the sources of evidence for robust knowledge, and they not only help educators measure these outcomes, they support the development of robust knowledge and the learning skills required to build it. You can learn more about Lectica's learning model and our approach to assessment on our YouTube channel and websites.